Hello dear students, so in the last lecture we have uh, seen what is a convex set, we have seen some examples, ok. So, let us uh, also we have seen that intersection of two convex sets is convex and I had asked you to check whether the union uh, of two convex sets is convex or not, ok. So, let us continue our discussion today. Uh, first of all, let us take some uh, other examples of convex sets, ok. Say uh, this exercise show that any straight line, straight line in e to the power n, this is a convex set. Convex set. Okay. So, what is a convex set? A set is said to be convex if given any points x and y inside uh, that set, uh, uh, the line segment joining these two points is also inside the same set. Okay. Lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y, uh, this also belongs to A uh, for all 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1, okay. that was the definition of convex sets. Okay. So, geometrically, uh, set is said to be convex if the straight line joining any two points inside the set is also inside the set. Okay. So, uh, if you think in the geometrical way also a straight line is always going to be convex okay. because uh, if you take uh, any two points on the straight line then the line segment joining those two points actually coincides with the straight line only. Okay. So, it is going to be a convex set. So, how do I show it uh, this uh, th theoretically? Okay, so, for that uh, let us write a proof. So, let L equal to the set of all uh, or L be a straight line. Okay. So, any straight line uh, in e to the power n. Okay, uh, okay, so, for we have to fix uh, the points through which this passes. Okay. Otherwise, we it is difficult to define straight line. So, let uh, say let us fix some points say let, let lambda a plus 1 minus lambda b such that uh, lambda belongs to real number okay. b a straight line straight line passing through passing through the points a comma b ok. So, it is the set of all those straight lines which pass through the point uh, a comma b ok right. So, uh, we have to take two points inside this set means this set contains all those points which look like this ok for some lambda in R ok. So, if we take uh, let x comma y belongs to capital L be any points ok, be any points then. So, how will x look like? x will be equal to some, some sort of uh, say t into a plus 1 minus t into b ok for some t inside r right. Okay. So, do not get confused why I have not written lambda, this lambda is a symbol. Okay. So, any any point inside this set is some scalar multiplied with a plus 1 minus that particular scalar multiplied with b. Okay. So, for x, so if I take two different points that scalar will also be different. Okay. So, for x so there will be some scalar t, for y uh, there will be some other scalar. Okay and y will be equal to say uh, s into a plus 1 minus s into b okay, for some s inside r ok right. This is there. Now, I have to show that x uh, lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y ok, where uh, lambda belongs to 0 1 ok is an element inside uh, this set ok means uh, can also be expressed uh, in this form some scalar into a plus 1 minus that scalar into b ok. So, let us try that. 
So, let lam 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1. Okay. Now, I have to show that the line segment joining this x and y is also inside this. So, therefore, lambda x plus 1 minus lambda times of y, this is actually equal to lambda into, if I just simplify this, T a plus 1 minus T into b okay, plus uh, 1 minus lambda into uh, this will be S A plus 1 minus S into B. Okay. So, this is uh, lambda T. Uh, so, let us collect this coefficients of A together. So, this is lambda T plus 1 minus lambda into S multiplied with. So, this is a scalar multiplied with A plus uh, this one. So, here uh, let us write line uh, passing through the points a comma b inside e to the power n. Okay. This a and b are points inside e to the power n. Okay. So, uh, let us collect the coefficients of uh, this b also. So, this is lambda into 1 minus t plus 1 minus lambda into 1 minus s into b. Okay. <coughs> So, I can write this as lambda t plus s minus lambda s okay, into a plus this one can be written as lambda minus uh, lambda t plus if I just simplify this is 1 minus lambda uh, minus s plus lambda s okay, multiplied with b. So, this is lambda t plus s minus lambda s into a plus uh, here you see lambda cancels out right. So, it is 1 minus uh, within bracket I can write lambda t plus s minus lambda s ok this into b. So, uh, this is of the type some scalar into a plus 1 minus the same scalar into b ok. So, that is why uh, this belongs to so, which belongs to L ok. So, well, because what are the points in L? Uh, the points in L are of the form some scalar into A plus 1 minus that same scalar into B. Okay. So, it is this belongs to L. Thus, uh, lambda x plus uh, 1 minus lambda times of y, this belongs to uh, L whenever x comma y is in L. Okay, and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1. Okay. So, this is satisfied. Therefore, L is a convex set. Okay. So, any straight line is a convex set. Okay. So, that is a OBS actually is a convex set. Okay. Next, let us try another one. Um, a hyperplane. Show that a hyperplane in e to the power n is a convex set okay, is a convex set right. So, this is also another uh, important result. Okay. So, let uh, h equal to let us write it as this. So, how do you write hyperplane it is in the form C x equal to z okay. uh, sorry it is the collection of all those x in e to the power n which satisfy C x equal to z. So, x belongs to e to the power n such that c x equal to z. Okay. So, where uh, this c equal to say c 1, c 2 up to c 1, c 1, c 2 up to c n. Okay. Right. And, and z is in r, okay. z is a scalar. Right. So, I have to show that this is a convex set. So, uh, what is the property of this set? Any point inside this set satisfies C x equal to z. Okay. So, let us start with any two points. Let uh, x comma y belongs to H be any points be any points and uh, 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1. Okay. Now, I have to uh, so therefore, this C x is equal to z and c y is also equal to z. Okay. C x is z, uh, c c y is also z. <coughs> so, uh, I have to show that 
lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y this is also an element inside uh, h ok. So, I will calculate what is c into lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y ok. So, this is c into lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y if I just simplify it is lambda into c x uh, let me write it in two steps it is c into lambda x ok lambda x plus uh, c into 1 minus lambda y ok this one and then this scalar will come out. So, this is in the form lambda into c x ok plus 1 minus lambda into c y ok, <coughs> but what is c x? we know c x is equal to z ok and uh, what is c y? c y is also z ok. So, it is lambda z plus 1 minus lambda z ok. This is lambda z plus z minus lambda z ok. So, lambda z cancels out <coughs> this is equal to z. <coughs> so, what we have seen lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y this is an element inside h for all x y inside h and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. So, therefore, h is a convex set is a convex set. So, any hyperplane is a convex set ok, convex set ok right. <coughs> okay. So, in particular so, you may have uh, this type of you also exercises also show that means, instead of a general hyperplane you are given something like this. <coughs> so, show that h equal to <coughs> x y z uh, in e, e cube okay, such that uh, a x plus b y plus c z equal to d hmm, is a convex set okay, and is a convex set ok. So, this is the, this is basically a hyperplane in e to the power 3 this is nothing but a hyperplane in e to the power 3 ok. So, uh, if this is arcs then we can do it the same way uh, of course, the notations are a little bit changed. So, here uh, in the earlier one the notation was this x belongs to it. So, this this x is actually x 1 x 2 up to x n in e to the power n ok. So, that is an n tuple. So, here um, it is given e to the power 3. So, it is given in the form of x y z means as an ordered triple ok and then which satisfies this condition. So, this is the equation of a plane actually. So, uh, how to show this is a convex set. So, is the process is same just to the way of writing is little bit different. So, we will take two points here. So, let uh, uh, let us denote that points as say a equal to x 1 uh, y 1 z 1 and b equal to x 2 y 2 z 2 ok be any points be any points in h ok. Then what will happen? What is it? Oh, oh I cannot take a because a is already given here. So, let us take some other things a uh, p and q ok. Let p equal to this q equal to this be two uh, be any two points inside h ok. Then what is satisfied? a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c z 1 this is equal to d ok. This is satisfied and a x 2 plus b y 2 plus c z 2 ok. This is also equal to d right. This is satisfied. Now, I have to uh, see whether lambda x plus uh, lambda p plus 1 minus lambda q is satisfying this equation or not ok. So, let 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. Then, uh, what is lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q? This is equal to. So, this is equal to lambda into x 1 y 1 z 1 
plus 1 minus lambda times of x2 y2 z2 okay so this is lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 lambda y1 plus 1 minus lambda y2 comma lambda z1 plus 1 minus lambda times of z2 okay this one so uh, let us see whether uh, it satisfies this criterion or not so if, if if it has to be a point inside each it should satisfy a into this x coordinate plus b into y coordinate plus c into z coordinate that has to be equal to d okay so let us check so a into uh, this one lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda times of x2 okay plus b into lambda y1 plus 1 minus lambda times of y2 okay plus c into lambda z1 plus 1 minus lambda times of z2 equal to what okay equal to so let us collect uh, the coefficients here of a um, with x1 yeah so let us collect all lambda together okay so this is lambda into a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 okay a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 okay comma um, yeah plus 1 minus lambda let us collect it together so 1 minus lambda into a x2 plus b y2 plus c z2 okay so that is nothing but uh, this is d plus 1 minus lambda times of d okay so it's lambda d plus uh, d minus lambda d okay so that is nothing but this is nothing but d lambda d cancels out so this is equal to d so hence so this uh, satisfies this coordinate satisfies the equation of the plane okay hence lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q this belongs to h for all p comma in q inside h and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 okay right so any line segment so in particular for hyper uh, plane and all uh, even the straight line uh, because we have not used 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 anywhere okay so actually we have proved that any straight line joining p and q is also inside uh, this yeah <coughs> but for convexness we is just sufficient that um, the straight line segment joining any two points is inside okay so in particular for straight line and hyperplane uh, all uh, po points on the straight line joining any two points is also inside the same set okay <coughs> okay so let us see the next next one say another exercise uh, let us try exercise show that show that uh, this set uh, say s equal to the set of all x y in e square that satisfy something like uh, say twice x plus 7 y less than or equal to 8 ok this is is a convex set okay. is a convex set so, so what does it represent it represents the region of the plane which is uh, bounded by this particular line okay so means by the line x by 4 plus y by uh, 8 by 7 is, less, is equal to 1 okay so this region so this region is also a hyperplane okay so geometrically also you can see if you take any two points inside this region it's lying inside the straight line segment lies inside okay so th this is a concept so how do i show this let us try so solution is so please try to do these things uh, note this down in your copy and do these things so let uh, x1 y1 so in exam when you do it please write the definition again because you are in exam you are not writing question so given do it this way given s equal to uh, set of all those x y in e square so in exam if it comes r square also it's all the same okay it, uh, sometimes it may be given as r square okay it's all the same so x y belongs to e square such so that twice x plus 7 y is less than or equal to 8 okay 
So, let us take two points inside this let p equal to let us take this way let p equal to x 1 y 1 comma q equal to x 2 y 2 um, be any two points okay, any two points in here you have to be careful it is in s ok it is not in e square ok. So, in the earlier one also you see p and q be two points in h ok if you take it from the set from the given set ok. So, since p and q are two points in s they will satisfy uh, this property ok. So, uh, this one 2 x 1 plus 7 y 1 this will be less than or equal to 8 and uh, this one <coughs> 2 x 2 plus 7 y 2 this is also less than or equal to 8 ok. Now, I have to check uh, for lambda p plus 1 minus lambda into q ok. So, let uh, 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. Then uh, lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q this is equal to what. So, let us first uh, find out the coordinates ok. Lambda into x 1 y 1 plus 1 minus lambda times of x 2 y 2 ok. So, this is equal to lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 comma lambda y 1 plus 1 minus lambda times of y 2 ok this one right. So, now we have to check whether this condition is satisfied or not 2 times of this coordinate plus 7 times of this coordinate is less than or equal to 8 or not ok that is what we have to check. Hmm. So, let us uh, keep this one as 1 and this in equation as 2 ok so that we can use it somewhere. So, let us compute now 2 times let me do it in the next page. Now, 2 times of this one uh, lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda times of x 2 okay, plus 7 times of lambda y 1 plus 1 minus lambda times of y 2 this is equal to what? This is equal to you collect all the lambda together. So, this is lambda into 2 x 1 plus 7 y 1 okay, plus 1 minus lambda you collect it together. 1 minus lambda into 2 x 2 plus uh, 7 y 2 ok. So, by using this uh, in equation 1 we can write it less than or equal to lambda times of 8 ok lambda into 8 plus 1 minus lambda times of 8 ok this one we can write right. This is uh, first one it is less than or equal to 8 and the second one is also less than or equal to 8 ok. So, uh, this is equal to 8 lambda plus 8 minus 8 lambda ok. And so, this is actually equal to 8 ok. So, yeah. right. So, we have shown that 2 into this plus 7 into this is less than or equal to 8, but the justification is still incomplete because you can use this inequality only under one condition ok. See here it was given that 2 into this uh, this is less than or equal to 8, but if we multiply both side by lambda I have used something like lambda into twice x 1 plus 7 y 1 is less than or equal to 8 lambda right I have used it this. So, this can be used only when lambda is a positive quantity if you multiply by negative quantity it is not going to be uh, satisfied right. So, this is true only when lambda is positive. So, that is where we are using this fact that 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. And also if I multiply this with 1 minus lambda this 1 minus lambda also has to be positive ok otherwise the inequality will change ok. So, so here we are finding the application of 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. So, this is less than or equal to this because since uh, 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 and so uh, 0 less than or equal to 1 minus lambda less than or equal to 1 ok. Lambda lies between 0 and 1, 1 minus lambda also lies between 0 and 1 ok. 
so that means both are positive okay uh, non negative that is why we can uh, write this inequality okay so this is very important you have to mention this somewhere okay so this is less than or equal to lambda into 8 plus 1 minus lambda into 8 only because they are positive okay they are uh, they are non negative okay right so ultimately i have shown that this quantity is less than or equal to 8 okay when i write equality here this means uh this step is equal to this step okay so ultimately this step is less than or equal to uh, greater than or equal to this uh, first step okay this equality means that this is equal to this okay right so so we have seen that uh, lambda lambda times of p plus 1 minus lambda times of q this is inside s okay for all p q inside s and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 okay so here we are finding the application of this uh, line segment okay so here if you see the diagram this region if i take uh, two points from here say this point this point the straight line joining this point doesn't lie entirely inside this set okay because straight line goes outside okay but the line segment lies inside okay if we uh, take the line segment line segment actually lies uh, inside this okay the line line segment actually lies inside okay line segment joining these two points okay so this is this this lies inside okay but the line joining these two points doesn't lie inside okay similarly for other points also Line line joining the for the points they will lie outside. Okay, but for a plane, what happens uh, for this for the entire plane? Okay, the any line you draw, it it is lying inside the plane only. Okay, that's why hyperplane is a convex set. Okay, so on the right half plane is also a convex set. Okay, but it's uh, uh, the straight line joining two points. It may not lie inside the whole set. Okay. So in both cases, they are actually convex sets. So as a similar problem, you may try. So I have shown it for uh, this um, two variables. You can uh, do the similar things for three variables as well. Okay, for three variables also, we can uh, do it quite easily. Okay, so say show that. something like uh, this one as equal to z of all those x y z inside uh, e to the power 3 which satisfy say twice x plus or let us do the general one a x plus uh, b y plus c z is greater than or equal to d okay this is a convex set is a convex set okay so how will you do this very simple the system is simple so given given s equal to the set of all those x y z inside e to the power 3 such that a x plus b y plus c z is greater than or equal to d right in this one so let uh, let us take two points let p equal to x1 y1 uh, z1 and uh, q equal to x2 y2 z2 okay. be any two points be any two points where these are any two points in s okay this is important they have to be points inside the given set okay so so what happens so um so this one uh A x one plus b y one plus c z one is greater than or equal to d, and A x two plus b y two plus c z two. Okay, this is also greater than or equal to d. Okay, so now let us take uh, zero less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to one. Okay, then what is uh, lambda x plus uh, lambda p plus one minus One minus lambda times of q. Okay, so this is equal to lambda into x one y one z one 
plus 1 minus lambda times of x2 y2 z2 okay so this is lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda times of x2 lambda y1 plus 1 minus lambda times of y2 and this is lambda z1 plus 1 minus lambda times of z2 okay this one so i have to check whether uh, a into this quantity plus b into this quantity plus c into this quantity is greater than or equal to d or not okay so for that i'll i'll compute this okay so now a into lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 okay plus b into lambda y1 plus <coughs> 1 minus lambda times of y2 plus uh, c into lambda z1 plus 1 minus lambda times of z2 okay so let us see what happens this is equal to lambda into ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 okay i have collected all coefficients of lambda okay all the means i have taken lambda common here so 1 mi and 1 minus lambda common from here so it's ax2 plus by2 plus c z2 okay this in this one okay but uh, th this can be written as greater than or equal to lambda into d okay plus 1 minus lambda into d okay why because of this okay let us take it as one or oh, in earlier case also i had written one but i have not written okay so by one since since what zero less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to one less than or equal to one okay and so 0 less than or equal to 1 minus lambda less than or equal to 1 okay both are non negative they only the oh, only because of this we can multiply okay otherwise it's not true so this is actually equal to lambda d plus d minus lambda d okay so this is same as d so ultimately i have shown a into this plus b into this plus c into this is greater than or equal to d so therefore lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q this is inside s for all p q inside s and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 okay so this is a convex set so s is a convex set convex set okay so let us okay now let us uh, take some more definitions uh, that is called convex combination okay what is a convex combination convex combination okay so let uh, x1 x2 up to say xr belong to e to the power n okay they, they are uh, some points okay belongs to e to the power n then a convex combination convex combination combination of so what is the linear combination i had told you it's alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 okay plus up to alpha r x r okay that is called a linear combination alpha r x r okay this is called a linear combination uh, where alpha 1 alpha 2 up to alpha r they are actually scalars okay. so now uh, we will have something called con convex combination so it's a special type of linear combination so a com convex combination of x1 x2 up to xr is uh, is the point or uh, how do you write it convex combination is uh, the point is the point this one uh, lambda 1 x 1 plus lambda 2 x 2 okay plus up to dot 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 up to lambda r x r uh, where 0 less than or equal to lambda i less than or equal to 1 and the summation of i goes from 1 to r lambda i this is equal to 1 okay 
the sum of the scalars all the scalars should lie between 0 and 1 and the sum of the scalars should be exactly equal to 1 okay then we say that this combination is a convex combination okay so convex combination of uh, say these r points is also a point inside e to the power n okay so where the scalars it, it, it that point is formed by a linear combination of this uh, points uh, of the given points uh, in such a way that the scalars are all non negative okay the scalars have to be non negative okay 0 less than or equal to lambda i less than or equal to 1 for all i equal to 1 to up to r okay this one so let x1 x2 up to xr belongs to e to the power n then a convex combination of x1 x2 up to xr is the point lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 2 x2 lambda lambda r xr where 0 less than or equal to lambda i less than or equal to 1 and the sum of all this scalars is actually 1 okay so uh, we had done the uh, convex combination already for two two points okay convex combination of two points actually gives us a gives us the line segment gives us any point on the line segment okay because uh, see uh, lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y this is also a convex combination because the scalars they lie between 0 and 1 and if you add the scalars the uh, result is 1 actually okay so that is a convex combination of two points okay so let me write it in the here also in particular in particular convex combination of convex combination of two points can be written as two points x1 and x2 is written as written as lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda times of x2 okay because if i write it something like lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 2 x2 okay where 0 less than or equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 less than or equal to 1 uh, then uh, lambda 1 plus lambda 2 has to be equal to 1 so what is lambda 2 lambda 2 is nothing but 1 minus lambda 1 okay so that way so where 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 so convex combination of two points are usually written in this form okay the uh, definition of st straight line segment okay something similar to the definition of straight line segment also uh, say con convex combination of three points convex combination of three points can be written this way okay. can be written as what Lam lambda times of x1 plus mu times of x2 okay plus the last one will be 1 minus lambda minus mu times of x3 okay where 0 less than or equal to lambda comma mu less than or equal to 1 okay this is satisfied right so we have con convex combination okay then uh, we have something called convex polyhedron convex polyhedron polyhedron okay see uh, this is a generalization of the convex polygon means see uh, if there are three points in say r to the, uh, r square or e square uh, the convex combination of these two points is actually the means the set of all convex combination of these two points is nothing but the straight line joining these two points right okay so and the set of all combinations convex combination jo of these two points okay is the straight line joining these two points okay and the set of all those com convex combination of these two points okay it is the straight line joining these two points so it's a triangle it's a polygon okay and also uh, if we include the con convex combination of this and this together with uh, this okay convex combination of three points so then we'll get all possible straight lines from here means the entire region inside okay we will get a convex um, polygon okay right so not only the boundary the entire region okay so convex polyhedron is something similar to that it's a generalization of the con concept of polygon okay so convex polyhedron it is the uh, the set of the set of all convex combinations okay. 
the set of all convex combinations of a finite number of points okay, of a finite number of points okay we know there are how many points okay finite number of points x1 x2 up to say xn or say xr in e to the power n okay, is said to be said to be the convex polyhedron convex polyhedron okay is said to be the convex polyhedron uh, generated by these points okay polyhedron generated by these points okay. right set of all convex combinations of a finite number of points x1 x2 up to xr e to the power n is said to be the convex polyhedron generated by these points okay right so so we can write it this way so uh, we can write it this um, something like c equal to symbolically c equal to the set of uh, lambda 1 x1 plus lambda 2 x2 plus up to lambda r xr xr such that 0 less than or equal to lambda i less than or equal to 1 and summation of i goes from 1 to r lambda i this is equal to 1 ok. So, it is the collection of all those points <coughs> which satisfy <coughs> whose <coughs> scalars it is the collection of all those con uh, yeah, convex combinations whose uh, with the uh, convex combination with the points x 1 x 2 up to x r ok. So, this is a is the convex polyhedron okay is the convex polyhedron generated by generated by x1 x2 up to up to xr okay right so our very next uh, this will be so um, say for example in E square okay, the convex polyhedron polyhedron generated by three points okay, three points okay, is the uh, triangular region tri triangular is the triangular region formed by those points okay. formed by those points okay. by those points ok. So, yeah, from if I draw it something like this then the convex polyhedron joining uh, means uh, formed by generated by these three points is the region inside this uh, triangle ok the entire triangular region ok this is the convex polyhedron generated by these three points ok. Similarly, uh, um, uh, convex polyhedron generated by four points uh, will be a quadrilateral a convex quadrilateral ok. So, what is the difference? Uh, there, there may be many quadrilaterals which are not convex. Okay. Let me show you some. This is a convex quadrilateral. Okay. Convex quadrilateral means join. Uh, you take any two points inside or on the boundary of this quadrilateral. Uh, the straight line segment joining those two points should lie inside. Okay. But uh, there may be cases where uh, the, this quadrilateral may not be convex ok. So, something like this uh, <coughs> quadrilateral or uh, this point yeah. So, something like this if we have this this quadrilateral ok. This is also a quadrilateral there are four sides ok, but it is not convex right it is not a convex quadrilateral ok not convex 
means this region okay, the region inside this is not convex if you take uh, two points say on this not only the region the boundary also it is not convex. So, if you take two points here then the line segment joining these two points will lie outside the quadrilateral ok. So, it is not a convex quadrilateral right ok. So, these things uh, you can say geometrically. So, we have another exercise here that uh, a convex polyhedron is a convex set ok. So, that show that a convex polyhedron convex polyhedron is a convex set is a convex set ok. So, the solution is something similar. Uh, so, the, this question can be uh, given in another way show that the convex combination of a finite number of points is a convex set ok. So, that the convex combination convex combination of a finite number of points ok. So, that the set of ok sorry. So, that the set of all convex combinations of a finite number of points finite number of points is a convex set okay. points in e to the power n <coughs> is a convex set ok. So, the same question can be written in two different ways ok. So, let us let us try this ok. So, let uh, c equal to <coughs> x 1 uh, say lambda 1 x 1 plus so, I can write it in a short form I can write I can use the summation symbol summation i goes from 1 to n lambda i uh, not 1 to n ok it might be something else ok. So, say uh, summation i goes from 1 to r lambda i x i such that 0 less than or equal to lambda i less than or equal to 1 and summation of i goes from 1 to n lambda i. So, sorry again I have written n. So, it is summation i goes from 1 to r lambda i this is equal to 1 ok. B the convex polyhedron B the convex polyhedron hadron generated by generated by the points what are the points x 1 x 2 up to up to x r ok and these are the points. Right. So, we have to show that C is a convex set. So, let so let us take two um, points inside C let let x comma y or uh, let me take it as p comma q huh? that is better. Let p comma q belongs to C be any two points okay, be any points. So, how will p look like then p will look like summation of i goes from 1 to n. Uh, x i will remain fixed what will change is this scalars ok. So, equal to alpha i x i uh, where 0 less than or equal to alpha i less than or equal to 1 and summation i goes from 1 to n uh, 1 to r alpha i this is equal to 1 ok. okay. So, p will look something like this because p is a uh, convex combination of the points x 1 x 2 up to x r. Okay. Similarly, q also will be equal to some uh, summation i goes from 1 to r beta i x i uh, where 0 less than or equal to beta i less than or equal to 1 and summation of this beta i summation i goes from 1 to r beta i this is equal to 1 ok this will be required. So, let uh, let us take 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 ok 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1. So, I have to show that lambda p plus 1 minus lambda q <coughs> is an element inside um, the set C. <coughs> so, what is lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q? So, this is equal to <coughs> lambda into p is actually summation i goes from 1 to r of alpha i x i and q is actually 1 minus uh, sorry uh, 1 minus lambda into q is actually summation i goes from 1 to r of beta i x i ok this one. So, I can just uh, take 
this things inside so it is of the form summation of i goes from 1 to r of lambda lambda into alpha i plus 1 minus lambda into 1 minus lambda into beta i okay this whole thing multiplied with x i okay this one so uh, this, so this is uh, this is a uh, what is this this is a uh, this quantity itself is a scalar okay now if i want to show that this is inside c what should happen i have to show that each of these scalars is lying between 0 and 1 and uh, the sum of all these scalars is equal to 1 okay this is what i have to show so let us write it in a short form summation i goes from 1 to r say uh, ci so I'll write it as alpha beta gamma or say okay ci xi okay where where what is the ci ci is actually uh, lambda uh, lambda into alpha i plus 1 minus lambda into beta i okay let us write it this way hmm. Now, we have to find out whether 0 less than or equal to c i less than or equal to 1 or not. Okay. <coughs> so, c i is equal to alpha uh, lambda into alpha i plus 1 minus lambda into beta i. Okay. And this is given. right? Now, uh, alpha i uh, 0 less than or equal to alpha i less than or equal to 1. Okay. This is already there and uh, also um, this one. 0 less than or equal to beta i less than or equal to 1 this is also there okay so let us see whether uh, we can find it out or something like this so 0 less than or equal to lambda into alpha i less than or equal to 1 okay why because since 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1 okay lambda is uh, uh, so sorry this is lambda means we can multiply both side by lambda mm. also uh, 1 uh, 0 less than or equal to 1 minus lambda less than or equal to 1 so 0 less than or equal to 1 minus lambda times of beta i okay less than or equal to 1 so that that is also possible okay so, so sorry that's not 1 1 minus lambda okay so um, lambda into alpha i it lies between 0 and lambda 1 minus lambda into beta i it lies between 0 and 1 minus lambda so i can add this two so the, let us keep it as 1 this is 2 so adding <coughs> adding 1 and 2 we can add the inequalities so we get 0 less than or equal to lambda alpha i plus 1 minus lambda times of beta i this is less than or equal to lambda plus 1 minus lambda okay, 1 minus lambda so what i have got ultimately is this that means 0 less than or equal to c i less than or equal to so if i add lambda with 1 minus lambda i get 1 okay so each scalar lies between uh, z 0 and 1 okay this is what we have shown actually okay here is c i was uh, for all i equal to 1 to up to r okay got it so we have just used the fact that 0 less than or equal to alpha i less than or equal to 1 so we can multiply both side by lambda because lambda is non negative and also 1 minus lambda is non negative okay because lambda lies between 0 and 1 so 1 minus lambda also lies between 0 and 1 okay and then we can multiply both side by 1 minus lambda and then we just add them up so we get we get that all the scalars ci they lie between 0 and 1 okay <coughs> also next i have to sh show uh, i have to find out what is summation of uh, so summation of i goes from 1 to r ci okay that has to be 1 so let us see whether it is 1 or not equal to summation of i goes to, from 1 to r lambda alpha i plus 1 minus lambda times of beta i okay this is there <coughs> so i can simplify lambda into summation i goes from 1 to r of alpha i plus 1 minus lambda times of summation i goes from 1 to r of beta i okay this i can write so this is lambda into um, summation of this is already 1 we have seen and 1 minus lambda into this is also 1 so this is nothing but lambda minus lambda plus 1 minus lambda so this is actually 1 right hence lambda p plus 1 minus lambda q which is equal to summation of i goes from 1 to r of c i x i is a convex combination okay this is a convex combination because each scalar is lying between 0 and 1 
and the sum of all those scalars is 1. Okay, so, is a convex combination combination of x 1, x 2 up to x r. Okay. That means, what this belongs to therefore, lambda p plus 1 minus lambda times of q this belongs to c for all p q inside c and 0 less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to 1. Okay. So, here also we have used this condition. Therefore, C is a convex set. Yeah, convex set. So, every convex polyhedron is a convex set. Yeah. Convex polyhedron is a convex set. Okay. So, we have another definition that is called convex hull. Okay. So, here the number of uh, points need not be finite. Okay. So, let uh, x be a set of points, be any set of points in e to the power n. Okay. Means I do not know whether there are finitely many points or infinitely many points. Then uh, the the set of set of all convex combination, all convex combination combinations of uh, right set of all combinations. Of the points, okay, of the points from X, points of X, okay, of X is called the convex hull. It's called the convex hull of X. Okay, it is denoted as it is denoted by by c x okay set of all convex combination of the points of x that means uh, means we we take finite the definition of convex combination itself uh, is given for finite number of points only okay so uh, if we are given any infinite set what we do is we take finite uh, finite number of points from that infinite set and then take convex all possible convex combination okay so that way so, the set of all convex combination of the points of x, okay. uh, points of x. Uh, so, in bracket let us write taken uh, finitely many at a time, okay. finitely many at a time, okay. at a time. Right. So, to form the convex combination, we take finite number of points of x, okay. but there is no restriction which points you have to choose. Okay. You have to choose all all possible points, okay. that is called convex hull. So, even in particular, if x is a in particular, in particular, if x is a if x is a um, finite set, okay. if x is a finite set then the convex hull of x convex hull of x is the same as is the same as convex polyhedron okay as the convex polyhedron generated polyhedron as the convex polyhedron generated by Generated by the points of X, okay, the points in X, okay, right. So if X is a finite set, convex hull and convex polyhedron, they actually mean the same thing. Okay. So we have seen that a convex polyhedron is a convex set. Okay, we can also show that a convex hull is a convex set. Okay. 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 So um, in the next lecture, probably we'll. Uh, continue with uh, so, uh, one more thing that is left is extreme points and uh, one or two theorems are left okay so we will do it or um, or maybe we can skip the theorems as of now and we will shift to the uh, unit 2 that is simplex method okay. so we will decide in the next lecture thank you